In an early season tough test, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights defeated the Army Black Knights at Clinton Field today by a final score of 3-2. to two. Army trailed at 1.3-0, was able to mount a comeback to bring it within a goal with about five minutes to go, but unfortunately could not complete the comeback. Here's head coach Marsha McDermott and one of two Army goal scorers. Yeah, I think that's a good character builder for a team, you know. I mean, you have to look at that and say when you're down 3-0 and you fight back to 3-2 and you have opportunities at the end to make it 3-3, uh, that, that's the kind of fight that you want to see in a team. But I still think we could have brought more. I think we had opportunities early in the game that would have changed the nature of the game had we uh, taken advantage of them. And we have to get more consistent with our ability to finish our opportunities. And we have to defend our box better. So we can't, um, you know, we can't allow that first goal right before the half. That, that was kind of a, a momentum changer for us and we frankly didn't come out fighting hard enough at the halftime and we allowed a seven minute spate um, to change the nature of the game so then we came back fought back that's great character but if we take care of those other moments then we don't have to demonstrate that at the end for army Caselia set and goal this one comes in blocked deflected through army trying to clear shot scores Rutgers gonna take a one nothing lead 40 seconds to go in the first half Wishart stripped, moving in now. Phillips tries to send it out in front. Figlio, she scores. Sends this one through. Tiernan cutting in, coming out after it. Unable to get there was Caselia Tiernan on an empty net. No, it's free and they are able to poke it in. You know, we just had to make sure that we stayed composed but then had that hunger to keep going, going at it, you know. Just like having that confidence that we're a good team and we can keep going at them. So keeping our heads up, you know, keeping the leadership on the field and, and off the field. On to take the kick, drives it in on goal, she scores! Kim On makes it 3-1, 16-13 to go. On, on the board. Definitely felt good, you know, I'm from New Jersey, so, you know, that seems very local to me growing up, like as a little kid, wanting to play college soccer, I'd always go watch Rutgers games, and my sister actually was an alum from there as well, so, you know, definitely felt good. <laughs> the box Stewart tries to turn free Stewart looks to settle Stewart still chasing it down towards the near side now she's tackled and taken down in the box it will be Malachek the senior had seven goals a year ago three shots against Fairfield one on one with Jimenez 425 to go Malachek shoots one she's caught and Malachik makes it three to two. I mean, there's a lot we're going to take from this game that we're going to use going forward, and, and I think that's the most important thing. We're playing against a very good Rutgers team um, who has a tradition of, of um, you know, playing deep into the season. So that this is a good game for us to get tested and to discover some of the things that we need to work on. And, uh, you know, I think that they were a very physical team and we need to, to deal with that a little bit better in the future, and we will. Um, they try to get in behind us and we need to get more pressure on the ball and, and create some, um, uh, deny people the opportunity to serve that ball in behind our defense. But again, our, we did some very good things today. Um, when we played well, we played very well. And, uh, you know, we're, we're starting to learn how to solve the pressure. We just have to do it consistently and do it for 90 minutes.